Hatapu, peace and blessings. Lala Salama. Welcome. Alafia. Aquaba. Bienvenue. Inakushe in Akabo. You're tuned into the African Ancestral Manuscript Jellybar channel. I'm Blind Tibbin. We are going to talk today. The subject is going to be how to know is not to think and to think is not to know. We're in the Tehuti cycle, the cycle of wisdom, the cycle of divine insights, the cycle of knowing and not thinking. Now, the uh, biggest error humanity, Western man has done is to believe and perceive that to think is to know. Whereas thinking is the absence of knowledge and knowing is the absence of thinking. How can we explain that? The faculty within our spirit that deals with uh, thinking is a trickster. In different traditions, it's identified with different names. It's identified in the Akan tradition and also the Caribbean traditions, which were offsprings of the Akan traditions, as Anansi. Anansi the spider, Anansi the trickster, Bra Fox, Bra Rabbit in Sierra Leonean tales. We talk about Bra Fox, Bra Rabbit. In the cosmology of uh, the Dogon, we have the pale fox, also a trickster. In the cosmology of the um, Ife tradition, we have Eshu Elekba, Eshu, who is also the trickster, who some people equate with the devil. However, it's not the devil in, in essence of what the devil is. It's when you your mind causes you to act in a devilish manner that's not in sync with who you truly are. So we have several ones of those tricksters in different traditions. We also have the trickster in um, our tradition, the Metunatir and the Tawi, Kemetic tradition, who is Sebek, Sebek Amput, Amput, Apwat, who is the crocodile, uh, the dog, the monkey. And uh, these creatures are known to be able to um, carry out commands without knowing what the commands mean. So there's a faculty within your spirit, which is the thinking faculty, that when it's not programmed, it carry, carries out tasks based on imitation, blind imitation. And it doesn't really understand those concepts or even understand or overstand them. So to think is not to know and to know is not to think. The sage says, Knowing is a more direct form of understanding. Knowing comes when we are at state of peace. The essence of the higher faculty of Tehuti is governed by inner peace. Inner peace enables you to uh, go past that trickster into the uh, wisdom faculty, which is intuitive. When you go into a deep meditation, you go into a state of peace out of the blue. And ironically, Tehuti represents the color blue. You get insights into what is. People who have lots of experiences and speak to you as advisors, like Tehuti, they do not speak to you um, based on their thinking and their thoughts, but they basically think to speak to you based on their experiences. And you can take that to the bank more than theories, thoughts, and empty rhetoric. This is Tehuti right here. The faculty of Tehuti, represented by the Ibis bird. He has a pen and he's writing on a papyrus, writing the Metunetter. Why is it the Ibis bird? Because the Ibis bird has a very small head. Therefore, it makes you understand that knowing is not in the mind. Knowing is in the higher faculties of the spirit, the Akashic records. Knowing. So if Tehuti was a creature that had a very big head, like Sebek, then he would be thinking a lot. But since we see, and this image gives us, the Ibis has a very small head and is known to stand on one foot for hours and hours and end, we understand that to know is more about focusing, being peaceful, and going deep within your spirit to tap into those Akashic hidden records. People have access to this, these, this divine faculty. We use the Metunetter Oracle, and the Oracle is not in itself the one that gives you the advice. It's God that speaks to you through the Oracle. So we need to get that very clear. Some Oracles are just giving you the animal perception. Some Oracles are giving you the Word of God. And Tehuti 
is the word of God, which shared with man through the um, oracles which are provided, the higher oracles, that give you messages, which you in turn need to interpret through your knowledge of the cosmology in order to uh, get the, the message from God and to be able to apply it to your day-to-day -day lives. So, once again, the key factor which you need to reflect on and meditate upon in this cycle is to think is not to know and to know is not to think. How can we meditate on issues beyond mere thinking to intuit some insights which we cannot get through thinking? We can consult elders and people who have experienced and specialists in order to get some wisdom. We can go to the word of God to get that wisdom. The word of God can come through the Oracle of Tehuti, the I Ching, the Ife Oracle, Geomancy, there's also the Dogon. So there's several ways in which we can go to the word of God and uh, that is in signs and symbols. When we understand the um, Ife Oracle as the foundation of uh, computer science, we understand that um, the binary system is um, the mind of God functioning in the world. And those who know how to read it in our tradition are the Shekamu, the Ura Ura Tu, and the Hemu Shekamu Hai Shekamu Tu. In the tradition of the Ifa tradition, there's a, the Baba Laos, but of course you need to be very careful because uh, in the Ifa tradition, there's been lots of um, people who have, uh, um, I would say, who are charlatans, who are really just in there for their own self-aggrandizement and their own vanity and their own wealth or accumulation. It's quite unfortunate. So anyways, the key factor we need to reflect on in this cycle is let us take our thoughts into meditation. If we don't have access to an oracle, let's take our thoughts into meditation. Let's meditate on, on, on the soundicity of our thoughts. Let's get that divine wisdom out the blue. Because in the cycle, in the solstice, which we're in right now, we can get, if we're peaceful and we calm our thoughts down, divine insights into things which we need to accomplish. And those divine insights, we can take them to the bank. If we have access to an oracle or diviner, we can, we can check those divine insights with the word of God to make sure that they're in sync with truth. And if they are, they could be a great resolution to many of the issues in our lives. Tahuti resolves differences. That's what wisdom does. Wisdom creates a solution, which is a win-win solution for belligerent parties in any conflict. Okay, so God in itself and God in herself and himself does not take sides. The only side that God takes is the side of truth. And truth comes through the word of God, lived, and that truth creates a win-win scenario for all parties involved because at the end of the day, the word of God is seeking to uplift and embellish and enhance each one of our divinities, not just yours and not just somebody else's, but each one of ours, hence the win-win scenario. So we recognize that the word of God is not biased. It's neutral, and it only resonates in truth, ma'at. So let's live that ma'at peace. Let's meditate deeply and profoundly in this cycle going forward in the solstice. So not only is it the Tuhuti cycle, it's also the, the, the summer solstice. So we have a double ability through meditation to really get into some real deep Akashic records. Let's do it. Let's do our meditation. Let's get our insights. Let's consult the sages, our elders. Let's consult the oracle. Let's get the word of God in our lives. So our lives will be creating win-wins in every aspect and will be full of resources and full of impact in everything that we do. That is what I wish for you. That is what I wish for myself. That is what I will to manifest coming this cycle and coming future cycles going forward. Live the word of God. Live the truth of who you are. Understand that your true essence is peace, and the true essence of who you are is the ability to be at peace in the face of any adversity, so that you can tap into the wisdom of God and the spiritual power of God, really understanding that every situation and every occurrence, you can be one with it, because your essence is divine. That is what I had to say today. 
May you be blessed by the insights of the Akashic Records, by the word of the sage and the word of God, and may you go beyond your thoughts, ideas, and beliefs, um, hum humbling yourself to the fact that those th thoughts, ideas, and beliefs, lots of the time, cannot be in sync with the word of God, and that is why things are not being accomplished and your life is not going the way which you planned it to. Okay? So I'd like to say peace and blessings to one and all. Living truth. Fulfill your divine mandate. Remember that in African tradition, even the way we built our pyramids and built our all our temples in Kemet that are lasting forever was based on understanding the laws, the 11 laws of truth of our spirit, and putting into play the word of God and the oracular vision into what we did. So once you do that, you will be able to create success and long-term legacies which humanity will look up to. Think about Imhotep, the great polymath who built the step pyramid of Choser and was the first doctor. He wrote the Ibis Papyrus and was a great healer. And he is the one who said, eat, drink and be merry because tomorrow you die. And he also said, let your food be your medicine, right? So let your food be your medicine. That is the truth of how you can live a strong, long life. We will be going to Imhotep very shortly and doing his bio. bio. Until then, live in truth, fulfill your higher mandate, and realize that the word of God is attainable if you can go beyond your thoughts and into that peace which is intrinsic to who you are. Ashe. More power to you. Lala Salama, Terunefer, Goodnet, Bernui, Gnader, Ashe, 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 Ifa, Arun Mila, Tahuti. Let the word of God guide your every action. Ashe.